Hey guys, this is Guam here doing our commentary of Final War here. Um, this is a match with me. I'm Chaos again. My favorite race, of course. Playing a uh, Sisters of Battle opponent called Commonster. Um, it's a pretty interesting match. Like it's 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 not really interesting as in well, it's sort of it's a good it's a good it's a decent enough match. It's not particularly you know uh sort of to and fro battle. It's just a uh, sort of it's just sort of atypical of my style. Um. Uh, this will probably be like the last commentary I put up of my my, my games, like because as I said, I'm I'm not particularly good, and um, I'm not particularly good, and to be honest, it's like I know the results of these, and they're not really that interesting to me. And as I said, my my style's so quick off the block that it doesn't really make for interesting games, to be honest. Um, as I said, I either if I don't win within the first ten minutes, then I'm basically going to lose, and that's that's typically the way my games always go. Um, so back to the, back to the game here. I've just I've just went for uh, two my usual builds, just like. An extra uh, heretic squad just to get my fact or my temple out quick, and then two uh, cult squads just cap my points. Get some raptors off for quick cross. As I said, that's a relatively new thing for me because um, usually I would just go for free cultists or free uh, space marines after getting my lord. But now I get my lord second, as you can see. Um, the the sister of battles are pretty hard match for me. I've noticed sometimes they go for they're basically they're I'm not sure it's the sanctuary which gets them their upgrades, which I've always had problems with, like because um. They're quite nasty, especially like the upgrade for the if if they get their uh, cannoness with the multi pistol is quite nasty for against me. Like, so I'm just here with my raptors, like just trying to do harass, like just trying to keep their comedy down as much as possible. And he's got seraphim squads, like which are quite nasty because I must most of you probably know, like you, they do as much damage with their uh, range on the movement as they do uh, standing still, like so it gives them quite an advantage. Like although I have the advantage in close quarter com combat. Although this, this guy's kind of decent, because um, he's kind of decent and stupid at the same time, because you know he's built he's, he's obviously built the Seraphim squads for harass himself, but he's not actually going into my territory, so my harass has kind of nullified his harass, which I'm quite happy with at the time, because like I'm not too confident in my macro in harass, because sometimes I'll like get sidetracked and not actually think, not actually pay attention to my units. Sometimes that's that's one of my my feelings in this game, like um. So that's good because like I jumped off her and I'm glad to see that he comes back to fight me next. So I'm sort of like sweet. So he's not going. He's not going to harass my uh, shitty cultists because cultists just die so quick. Like and I just hate hate when that happens. Like because they're just useless. So I I just can't deal with harass. Like if I get harassed, I just suck and I just die usually. But um, so I'm glad to see that. So he's chasing me off. Like I'm just trying to get away from him. Like even though he's really hitting hard. Like because as I said, they don't get they hit they sh have pretty good accuracy even when they're on the move. So my castle gets in here and he's a badass. He's so good. Like, um, obviously he's gonna run like his little bitch away from him. Like, I'm. Um, he's got an LVP upgraded here, so I have to leg it from there. Like, what's um? I'm guessing he has a higher attack or con or economy me at the moment. Guess I'll check. No, it's actually it's actually even. Like, which is quite surprising. But I wonder if I have any LPs uh, got good. Um, I actually don't. I just must just, just must have more points and uh, maybe free criticals or something. He's just he seems to be just concentrating on my Raptor squad here. He thinks he's gonna be able to take him out like what she's not doing too bad of a job here because they are actually pretty low hit points, but um Yeah, so they're pretty messed up here at this moment. He doesn't seem to have any more squads, like he's, he's just got the same he's just sort of got the one seraphim squad, maybe sort of going for some sort of tech build. He's he's just actually just got a second squad at nine, but he's not actually deployed them into battle yet. So I've got I've got my mighty two raptor squad here, just like attacking his LV post here. And uh, he seems to be backed off. He's quite content just to sit there. Um, he's getting, a, he's jumping in eye. Um, he's going to try and take out my Raptor squad here. He's getting a good behind him, so he thinks he's going to try and, uh, yeah, just, he's just, he's trying to finish off my Raptor squad. Um, he seems, to, it seems to be one of his highest priorities at the moment. So he's pissing off here. In fact, as I said, like I think he'd be far better off just going and harassing my uh, cultists and my heretics, like. But he's, he's, he's just seems to be just. To concentrate on defense, which I, I think like I, like a poorer player would done that. Like a better player would have been more uh, had more been more mindful of the battlefield and actually have went and like started harassing my base and like forcing me to suffer. Like whereas he's the one suffering. He's like he's the one who's not like able to cap stuff as much. And like I'm I have actually have as I said like I have more control of the battlefield than he does. So I'm in his base here. This is as I said, this is typical of my playstyle. Like I'll usually finish games. As I say I have about just slightly better than fifty percent win record, but I'll usually finish the games within ten minutes. Every game's usually quick. And this is typical of me being inside the guy's base early early, like of tier one units, like and it'll usually end before tier two. 
So he's looking pretty bad here. Like he has said, I think he's been arsing around a bit too much, and he hasn't actually like, you know, he hasn't actually did anything definitive. He just seems to be like arsing around a bit. You know, so what I was gonna say. Um, he's got his cannon out here. This should help him a lot, like, cause then he'll actually be able to, you know, go. He'll actually be able to take out my cast lord here if he actually gets into a one-on-one -on -one fight. He's sort of a uh, he's microing as a uh, seraphim's ward, like getting the most out of you sort of that the uh, on the fly uh, accuracy bonus that they get. His Candace is backing off there, like I, I don't know. I honestly think he should have pushed in there. He must be waiting for something like obviously uh, the LV2 is getting upgraded here, like, and I I'm in a very tenuous position here. This is like the critical moment of my ma my matches. Like, there's like a point where like you have to break them, like that the point where uh. I have to break him. He's he's got enough troops to beat me, and I have good enough troops to beat him. Like, but it's just sort of like micromanagement. It's just sort of who's the one who can like who's got the balls to sort of stick stick it through. And, and like I see at this point, I'm sort of thinking like this is it. Like I need to take out this tower, and like he I need to sort of fight back his troops. If I back off here, this is going to be it. I'm going to be attacked, and I'm going to lose. So I, I'm sort of just gr I'm just like grinning hard. I'm just staying in the fight and making sure that I stick with it. Like. I, I get my uh, raptors into his squad, like to make sure they don't get um, can't settle down to do any uh, range damage. So basically, he lost a lot of troops there because he was fighting melee, and also uh, my cultists are chaos units were shooting at him. The cannonist is in the middle, like um, in the middle of my squad, doing a good bit of damage. Like my chaos lore still alive, like disrupting that unit there. He's taken heavy losses here, as you can just sort of see the difference in quality between the chaos and the sisters of battle. Although the sisters of battle are slightly cheaper, the quality of my troops is starting to tell there because I, I actually have won the battle. Although his uh, cannonist is still in the midst of my forces, like, but he's going to go down to my Chaos Lord, who's going to just about to bop her on the head here. I've decapped the point here, which is probably pretty risky, considering the fight's still pretty active at the moment. But like, I've, I've stopped his requisition. He's only 86 at the moment, and I'm 104. So I've slightly got a slight lead here, like, which isn't this isn't the big deal, but at this point, it's still pretty early in the game. It's like only minute 7, and I've like you know I've, I've been massing a lot of troops, like, so it is pretty uh, important. He's got Flamers out here, which is a bit of a problem for me now, because they can really fuck up your morale, like... But I've took his points out. I'm doing damage here. He's he's like lost a lot of troops, so he's just gonna have to spend a lot of money getting them back. I'm in a very strong position here. Like you know, I'm I'm thinking like this is pretty much over. Like, but I sort of stupidly moved this unit in here, which it's sort of it's not the best thing because they're kind of weak. They're not the most upgraded. And like there's a problem here. See, at this point of the game, I should I should have had my heavy bolters. Like, but for some fucking reason, <laughs> for the most weirdest reason, I was like um I had actually clicked on my heretic here and I had actually told him to build an army but for some reason he didn't. I must have like it mustn't have been a good area to build on. It's probably because of that that thing there, uh, the aspect. But I am not sure if that's what actually caused it. But I sh I was sort of actually at this point in the battle I was sort of thinking like what the fuck is my army man? I'm supposed to be building heavy bolters here and like and I really need them bad like. But um because he's got his cannon out again like and that has me kind of worried like because his cannon is not neck you know it's nothing to laugh about like it's just quite nasty. She's almost on par with the chaos lord. In fact I'm not even sure. My my cast lord is still alive, like um. So I'm not too I'm, I wouldn't be that worried about her, like. But still, it's not nice. And I can I know she's like backing off, getting some reinforcements here, and she's got flamer, like. And I don't have my heavy bolter, like. As I say, if I had my heavy bolter at this point, that would have sealed the game easy. But as I said, I was late with them. So this is it again. This is his final roll of the dice. Um, about get, get them out of my base. And he's doing a pretty good job here, like. I've he's tied up. He's used a seraphon to tie up my space marines. My morale's broken here. It's pre looking pretty bad. I bring my raptors back into the fight again to tie up the flame force, so that stops the morale damage. He's using. The, see, I think he should use his camels to get into close combat as well. To disrupt some more of my uh, my units and just like, do more damage. Because as you can see, like she does more damage melee than she does uh, ranged. Well, it's not a big difference, like so you can't really complain that much. I get my cast lord in there. He does some uber uber maximum. Like look at the damage there for uh, uh, melee. It's pretty nice. Like so, he kicks a lot of ass. He's beaten here, like he's obviously he's just been beat, yeah, and he leaves again, like because he just failed to move my troops. So that's GG and uh, good game. Thanks for watching.